जय हिंद एवरी वन माई सेल्फ मृगने नी कंसल दी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन दी आई टी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ अजय कुमार गढ़ इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज टूडे वी विल गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक दैट इज कर्पोरोज दिस इज वन ऑफ द टॉपिक इन द सब्जेक्ट दैट इज अवर कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क एंड सिक्योरिटी हियर नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज दी कर्बरोज Kerberos is a network authentication protocol the protocol which will be helpful to authenticate the network which is surrounding us it is designed to provide strong authentication for the client server application by using the secret key the cryptography in the cryptography that means that will provide the authentication to the client and the server application where we require the cryptographic secret key kerberos was also created creation by the mit as a solution to these network security problem as we know that the uh, network is in the open environment where we require the security which is a main concern so we require some type of the authentication protocol which will ensure us that the information which will be traveling over the unsecured network is secured manner and is hidden from the third party so kerberos will provide that network authentication protocol the kerberos protocol uses a strong cryptography so that a client can prove its identity on the server to a server and vice versa across an insecure network connection as i already informed you that the kerberos is the only technique through which we can easily provide the strong cryptographic information and also provide that this uh, here the client will provide their identity over the server and will provide across the insecure network connection and will get the proper security while transferring the information from the client to the server after a client and the server has used the kerberos to provide to prove their identity they can also encrypt all their communication to ensure the privacy and the data integrity as they are go above their business so this is what the kerberos will going to be provide to us now what are the main key concern in the kerberos the key concern are the confidentiality and the timeliness that means in the time way in the fast way how the kerberos will provide you the confidentiality while you are pro uh, providing the information over the insecure network from the one end to the another end so to provide the confidentiality must encrypt the identification and the session key info which is required the use of previously shared private or the public keys need the timeliness to prevent the relay attack it also prevent the relay attack which will be happen over the insecure network it also provide did by the using of sequence number or the time stamp or the cha uh, challenge and the response user wish to across the services on the servers there are three threats which is existing here what are those that are the user pretend to be another user they may pretend that the third party may pretend that as an attacker that this is not me this is someone else use user can also alter the network address of the workstation user is drop on the exchange and use of the relay attack which is the most commonly done in the network so kerberos is one of the technique which will provide these type of the uh, the protection toward the these three type of the attacks over the internet which is the unsecured network so the kerberos it also provide the centralized authentication server to authenticate the user to serve and services to the server it relies on the conventional encryption make no use of the public key encryption two versions version 4 and version 5 version 4 make use of the des that is the data encryption security so this key will be used by the version 4 of the kerberos so this will be providing you the authentication of the server uh, over the uh, network while you are transferring the information now as we discussed about here in the previous slide that in the version 4 it make use of the des how it will going to be happen that will be discussed in the kerberos version number 4 here we have some terminology uh, which will define you some uh, keywords and their actual meaning the terms are where c will indicates as a client as is indicates the authentication servers v is indicating the server idc the identifiers of user on the c programming on the c then the idv that is the identifier on v 
PC, the password of user on C, ADC, that is a network address of C, KV, the secret encryption key shared by the AS and V, the TS, that is a timestamp. And these two lines, the parallel lines will known as the concatenation of the two different sentences while we are doing the curve rows in the version number 4. Here, this is the simple authentication dialog, how it will be? If we are saying that client will authentication server, connecting to the authentication server, there will be the IDS, connect with the PC, connect with the ID we here. The IDS as I defined, that is known as the identification of the user on the client side, the identifier on the V and the password on the user on the client side. If we are saying that now the first the uh, the client will reach to the authentication server, then the authentication reach to the client. Here now the ticket will be created. The ticket will be created given to the client and it will be generated. So with the IDC and the ticket. So the ticket it will be indicated by this key that is E, K and X where their uh, concatenation of the IDC, PC and the ID. V. Now, the next one, the next one is the uh, version number 4, the authenti uh, authentication dialog. The problem here, how the problem will be associated with this type of the problems, that is the lifetime association with the ticket granting ticket. If too short, then it repeatedly asks for the password. If too long, it greater opportunity to reply. Okay. So here the lifetime is really associated with each and every ticket is granted to every time the client will be requesting you. If it is short, it will repeatedly ask you the uh, password because we are setting the uh, actually the length of the password you will uh, maximum you can choose it. So here once you choose too short, repeatedly ask the if you long then it is a greater opportunity to reply. So, the threat is that an opponent will steal the ticket and use it before it getting expired. So, this is one of the problem which will be generated while we are using the version number 4 authentication dialog. Here, the complete process is defined in this, the authentication service. The authentication service is the exchange uh, how to obtain the ticket granting uh, tickets. How it will be? First, the client will be reached to the authentication server. Here, the ticket will be generating have the concatenation of these three fields. Then, the authentication server will grant uh, uh, created a ticket. Then, for the ticket uh, creation, as we have discussed in the slide, that the ticket will be defined by this uh, this key and concatenation of these three parameters. So here, the uh, when we are actually connecting with the uh, generating the ticket then the equation will be formed. Now, the ticket granting the service exchange to obtain the service granting ticket. Here, when the ticket is generated, it will be obtained and granting to some of the, uh, of the particular server. Now, how it will be? The three different concatenation, the ticket which is granted by them, authenticator will authenticate them and it will be provided to the further processing. Now, in the third step, where the client and server authentication will be exchanged to obtain the different different services over the insecure network, then how it will be done? The ticket will be given to them and that the client will use the ticket to passing the information between the client and the server. So, how it, this will be happening? This is the complete overview of the Kerberos, how it will be. Here, you can see that uh, the Kerberos having the authentication server the ticket granting server and the database where this authenticator information are stored. How it will be happen? The first step, the user will log on on the workstation and request for the service of host. Then when it actually requesting this, it will be request will be given to the authentication server. Here what happened? The authentication server verify the user and access the right in the database, creates the ticket granting tickets and session key resulting and encrypted using the key. Now, when it will be moved back, the ticket plus the session key happen. Now, what will be happening here? It will be uh, come to back to the workstation. The workstation will provide you the user for the password and use the password to decrypt the inf incoming message and then send the ticket back to the authenticator. 
now what will be happening when this processes will be done now this third uh, next fourth process for that requesting will be granting server come that the ticket will be granted that now you can grant a ticket now the ticket granting server de decrypt the ticket and authenticate the verify request and then create the ticket for requesting the server next what it going to be happen now here it will be happening as fourth after the fourth process the workstation send the ticket and authenticator to the server how it will be it will be come to the server verify that ticket authenticate the match and giving the accesses to that server now server will be given to the authentication when it provide the server authentication then the communication between the two started the session so this is the complete overview of the kerberos that how it will going to be work process that from the user to the authentication server then once the ticket session is created then it will come to the server here then it will again back to here promote this request and giving to the server and this server will provide you the complete information of the authentication will provide and the communication will be started here so this is the complete overview of the kerberos where you are actually gaining the information that how the information are exchanging between the user the kerberos system the complete uh, system and the server how it will be going to be authenticated so with the help of this kerberos we can provide the network authentication and provide the security while the information get passes from the one station to the another station now here the kerberos encryption technique how it will be done here we having the creation of the password if the password is sh too short it will repeatedly ask you the password but if the password in the 7 bit sky code it will be flatten the bits in 7 into the n bits then in convert the password to the bit streaming like this providing the uh, doing the bit xor doing net get the 64 input keywords convert the bit stream to the input keys now here we are generating the des cbc check some of the password how the des will be provided this uh, uh, key password will be provided to the d for the encryption of the key password because we do not want any hacking in between while we are actually generating the password also so the complete encryption of the key from the password the complete key will getting encrypted with the help of the password which was generated by the user now here we having the cb uh, pc cb mode how it will be done this will be the complete propagation cipher blockchaining mode here the encryption and the decryption done that means with the help of the des encryption technique we will perform the encryption and the decryption in this mode how it will be done at the first time when the key will be provided to this with the password of p1 we perform the xor function and get some cipher text with the cipher text we again perform this uh, xor function and we move to the second time of iteration and it will be followed till the end time of iteration the end where we will define that how much in iteration we want the more we are iterating it the more security and the complexity we are increasing it but it having a disadvantage also if we are increasing the number of iteration the complexity uh, increases and it will take the network bandwidth so at the time of encryption the encrypted key will be generated here after the n number of iteration time now for the decryption uh, decryption the key which is generated at the first time will be get into the decryption of des xor again the password p1 is created and then will xor with the another decryption key and it will also continue the num n number of iteration which will be defined in the previous node so this is the complete diagram which will defining the pcbc mode of the complete information in this now how we will going to be kerberos in a practice how we will actually uh, take up the kerberos in practice currently we are having two different type of the version of the kerberos that is version 4 and version 5 what the version 4 say version 4 is restricted to the single realm whereas the version 5 allow the inter realm authentication in a beta test worker bros version 5 is a internet standard and specified in the rfc 1510 and used by many utilities 
to use the Kerberos, it need to have a KDC on your network. Need to have the Kerberized application running on all the practicing system. Major problem in this are US export restriction. Kerberos cannot be directly distributed outside the US in the source format and the binary version must obscure the crypto routine entry point and have no encryption. So else the crypto libraries must be re-implemented locally. This is how we can use the Kerberos in our daily use of life where we are actually exchanging the information over the insecure network. Now the three heads of the Kerberos protocol, what are those? There are three different heads, the client or the principal, second the network resource which is the application server that can also uh, provide the access to the network resources. Next, a key distribution center that is the KDC which act as a Kerberos trusted third party which authenticate the authentication server. What is the Kerberos authentication protocol do? What is actually performing? The password can never must be transmitted over the network. Password must never be stored on the client side and must always be discarded immediately after they are used. Password are never stored stored in the plain text. Kerberos provide a mechanism for the client and server to set up an encryption circuit for so that the network communication are kept in private. So this is the what actually the authentication protocol do while we are using the Kerberos. Now what are the different principles? There are three uh, principles are defining in the Kerberos. The first one is for the user. The principal primary is a user name. For host, the primary is the word host. Okay. For the server, the primary name is the service name. An optional identifier of the principal usually specify the host name and the system the primary is associated with. The Kerberos server or operate in a limited network region called the realm. And the realms are identified by the domain name system that named obtain principal realm in the domain name and in which the Kerberos server are operates. The another application server of the uh, Kerberos, any system providing the access to the resources that needed the client authentication through the Kerberos. For example, application server can include file and print services, terminal, emulation, remote, computing and emails. So these are the application server in the Kerberos. What are the different main components in the KDC? As we have already seen in the previous example where we are actually complete flow of the uh, flow is given for the Kerberos. They are explaining there is a KDC session where there are three different components. First one is the authentication server. First communication done with that. The information come to the authentication server is going to be saved in a dat database. And then after the authentication is provided, the ticket generation request is granted. Then it will move to the ticket granting server where the ticket is actually granted to them or created for issuing for the server. So here the authentication server perform the initial authentication and ticket for the ticket granting service. Whereas in the database, the authentication server verify the access right of user in the database. And the third is a ticket granting server where the ticket granting server issue the ticket to the server. The, actually the server will getting the ticket after this component of the KDC. Here the overview of the Kerberos. As we have discussed in detail about this diagram in the previous session that how the user first interact with the authentication server. The information is saved to the uh, database. This is the complete KDC. It will come back, then it requests, when the ticket request is granted, then third process is moved to the ticket generating service. Here, when the ticket is issued, it will move to the server, said that I am getting authenticated ticket of uh, this period of time. Start communicating with me. Once it start communicating and then it revert and start the communication right after the sixth process. Now, step by step it is explaining that how it will be going to be happen. The user login and request service on the host, thus the user request for the ticket granting service. Second step, the authentication server verify the user access right using the database and give it the ticket generating, uh, generating session ticket key and the session key resulting 
and encryption using the password of the user next the decryption of the message is done using the password then send the ticket to the ticket granting server so the ticket containing the authenticator like username and the network address the fourth step defining how the ticket granting server will decrypt the ticket sent by the user and uh, authenticator verifies the request that create the ticket for requesting server for the services next fifth at the fifth step the user send the ticket and authenticator to the server in the sixth step the server verifies the ticket and authenticator that generate access to the specific service after this the user can access the services so these are the six different steps which will be defining how the curve rose communication will be done over the complete kdc will be taken how the curve rose work the curve rose authentication server request authentication server response service ticket request service ticket response application server request and application server response so these are the six different steps and at the six different steps all the six uh, uh, services are provided differently and the complete communication securely done over the network this is how it will be done if we are uh, observing the complete uh, kdc is done that is authentication server authentication server response ticket granting request ticket re granting response the application server request and the application server response the complete process is defining here what is kerberos used for actually what is used for where actually they are uh, this is using it the kerberos is used to authenticate the entities requesting the access to network resources the system that incorporate the kerberos that is the amazon web service the apple mac os the google cloud helet packward unix ibm advance interactive executive and the microsoft azure so these all are actually incorporating the kerberos and use them for their network authentication process and provide the secure communication in between the network between the client and the server is the kerberos secure actually we are actually discussing so much about the security network authentication do we really say that yes it is secure it is considered to be secure how with the help of the historic weaknesses in the kerberos are the past the key attack pass the ticket attack and the golden ticket attack these are the historic weakness which we found in the kerberos previously now what are the different limitation of the kerberos the kerberos having the limitations that each network service must be modified initially for use with the kerberos each network service must be modified individually for use with the kerberos secured kerberos server required an always an kerberos server store all the password and encrypted with the single key assume the workstation and secure may result in cascading the loss of trust and the scalability these are the limitations we found when we are using the kerberos next we having the x.509 authentication server here we are defining the distributed set of the servers that maintain a database about the user each certificate contain the public key of user and signed with the private key of a, a ca it used in the s of mim ip security sl ssl tls and the set rsa is recommended to use this is the complete format of the x509 format here the x.509 certificate having the process of version 1 with having only the step for the version 2 some two different steps are added and for the version 3 another one step will going to be added so this is the certificate revocation list how the certificate get it revoked for the specific signature typical digital signature approach how the digital signature will be done in the conventional encryption the message will come hash function generated key will be provided message will be generated this message will be passed through and the comparison will be done and say that yes the message is authenticated 
now for using with the help of the public key encryption the public key here the key will be the private key and here with key with the public key so two way communication uh, two way communication can be done with the conventional symmetric key and with the public key encryption technique